Welcome back, family. You know what I need y'all guys to do. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me, guys. My channel is growing. Despite not small beginnings. You understand? Hit the like button. Hit the share button. Comment, family. I'm trying to get into the YouTube algorithm. YouTube tripping sometimes, but I'm going to keep peddling it anyway. Support my channel by going to the Cash App, guys, and donating there. It's dollar sign drama 1980. I do appreciate you in advance. You also can support my channel by clicking on the super thanks located under the video, guys. Donating there as well. And like how I tell each and every one of y'all, I do appreciate you. Ten folds over, hands down. I'm proud that you're rocking with me. Ooh, wait. Mm. I'm on fire. You know my motto already. I don't make believe, I make believe. Family. This is Drummer Boy 1980, hailing from the Carolinas. Columbia, South Carolina, to be exact, if you're looking for me. I hope you're having a good day today. If not, you know the old adage. Ask yourself why and remember this. Happiness is an inside job, and it will always be an internal effect. Guys, we're back today again with another reaction. I'm hitting it at a high clip, guys. I told you, in 2024, I'm coming. I'm coming. All right? But Blueface and Krishan, now y'all don't never hear me talk about them because they are a bunch of idiots in my humble opinion. They do reckless things on the internet and they clout chase and they do all of this stuff. So you never heard me talk about them. But I'm going to use this as a case study. I'm going to call your attention to the screen, guys. Let's go. Let's talk about what I saw in your search history. Like, I was going to keep it to myself. I really had to get you off my neck because... I don't know if you're taking dick in the butt, like, I don't even know why you watching gay porn. Like, I'm glad you don't want to be my baby daddy. I don't want no fruity loop raising my kid. What do y'all guys think about that? For those that don't know, there is this couple by the name of Blueface, which is a rapper, and Krishan, which is his girlfriend. They are Stevie J and Jocelyn of today's time, if you understand that, right? So they had a very tumultuous relationship, up and down. They fighting and they doing all this stuff. They, they constantly fight. They constantly arguing. It's ratchet to the highest degree, right? So Krishan ended up getting pregnant. But now Blueface is saying that the baby is not his. He said that he took a DNA test uh, a couple of days back and the baby is not his, but all of that. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about what she just said. Now, whether it's true or not, neither can I confirm it nor deny it. But according to her, his search history in his phone has some booty cat activity. Huh? God almighty, I don't know. But them Hollywood boys and the people that's famous and all that, a lot of them love Boochie Cat. So that's nothing new. And y'all know I ain't lying. If you don't like it, turn it off. But that's the truth. And y'all know it's the truth. So don't get mad at me, sugar bear. But anyway, get mad at them. But my thing is this. If she knew the guy love Boochie Cat, why were you with him the whole time then? Or why did you stay with him after you found out? That's my whole point, guys. My premise for the day is whenever that you break up with these women, they always drag something up. Now, I can't neither confirm or deny whether she tell the truth or not. Now, if she knew this guy love men's, love grabbing men's, think I'm a jigger, why she just not letting it out? And if you knew, why did you stay with him? It's my question. Huh? Can anybody put it in the comment section? She was there and she stayed with him after finding out. She ain't just not found that out. She been new. Story time, guys. Story time. Get your popcorn. A number of years back, whenever I was in my hate days, you know, a drunken state, drugged out, drinking liquor and doing all that before the Lord intervened, I used to deal with this certain female. You know, we had a thing going on, if you understand. Yes, hot and heavy. Yes. And I should have knew something was wrong with this girl. Because I can vividly remember she called me to come to a hotel room. I'm not going to get graphic or anything, but I'm building up the story for you. So she called me to the hotel room. I went to the hotel room. When I knocked on the door, guess what this fool had on? 
when she came and answered the door. She had on a devil suit. God! Had on horns on her head, the wings and everything. Lingerie. And at that time, my mind wasn't at its current state like now. So at that time, I was like bird man. I was rubbing my hands. I was like, ooh, we, mm, yes. I should have knew something was wrong with her then. I should have knew. That was my clear sign. The devil standing right in the front of your face. And what did I do? I entertained the devil. God, drummer boy, entertained the devil. Yes, yes, I did. I did. I did. So as time progressed, we probably had a little fling for probably about a month or two. I told her that I didn't want to talk to her. Oh my God. You would have thought I killed her mom, her dad, brothers, brother Einstein, kill a dog, ran over a cat, cooked a bird. You would have thought that I was the second coming of Hitler himself in the flesh sitting in South Carolina. Oh, she called at first. Well, I don't think that's a good idea. I said, no. I think that I'm going in another direction. You know, I think that I'm going in another direction. I don't think that this year is conducive to my future. So we don't need to do this any longer. Ooh, she called. I answered the phone again. Why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing? I said, you want me to be honest, right? Yes, but I thought that we had something going. And in the beginning, oh, and I left out this little small vital point. We said that it wasn't anything but just a fling. So we said that no strings attached. So I didn't lie to her or nor did she lie to me. You see, I said, uh, we both mutually agreed that this was just a fling. Yeah, I caught feelings in you and I can't help it. I can't help it. I love you. I said, I'm sorry. Oh God. Guys, it got so bad that she was calling me over a hundred times a day. Literally, not figuratively, literally. And she was leaving messages every single time. I can't stand you. You gay. You a dope head. You a drunk. I can't stand. She'll call back about two or three minutes later. I'm sorry. Don't listen to that message. I can't control my feelings. She'll call back again. You ain't no good at sex. You ain't no good at. She'll call back again. Well, you the best. You the best out of here. That's why I'm making like this. She called her kid. Please pick up the phone. I'm going to kill myself. I said, this thing crazy. I dodged a bullet. This girl is manic and depressing. She off a rocker. She a few cars short of a full day. She done lost the marbles. Shall I continue? Her elevator don't reach out to the top. But that's how she did. She called me and she said, I was gay. Now, I don't rock her bell because she done told me. That's how I knew. But yet, when she got upset, she tried to use that and try to hurl an insult at me. You see how them women are, guys? That's why I say about Krishan, she might be telling the truth. But why wait until now? Because you was fine with it then. It's my whole premise, guys. You have to be careful with these women because these women will pull up anything to try to cut your knees out from up under you. They'll say anything whenever they heat it or you don't broke their heart or you don't broke up with them or what have you. Or even if you offend them, they always try to bring up something. So I take this with a grain of salt. If the man like Boochie Cat, the man like Boochie Cat, as long as they don't infringe upon by rats, you can have and do what you want. Ah, that's you. But as far as me, I love women's eye. Women's shout out to the latest. I love y'all. Woo, God. I got a beautiful wife. Beautiful wife. You understand? To the loo for now. And until next time. Peace. And remember, there is more.